So a few months back at my flight club, we spent an uh, afternoon making a bunch of foam wings using their foam cutters. But because I don't have any footage of that, here's just some random footage of me cutting foam with my foam cutter. And as you can see, it's a lot tighter than before because I changed the method of tension from those crappy rubber bands to nice and heavy duty metal spring. Anyways, next I just covered the wing in that transparent scotch tape and cut out the elevons and winglets out of 3mm balsa wood, then spray painted everything in red. Now that the frame was basically finished, I used Fusion 360 to design a motor mount and Flying Wing CG calculator to figure out where the CG should go. And once I was happy with that, I just started cutting. Here, I am epoxying on the motor mount, but as you can see, I've already cut out servo slots, the slot for the propeller, and actually there's a aluminium spar running down through the whole wing, plus a plywood reinforcing the central hub area. When that was done, I added all the electronics into the wing as you can visualize in these crispy photos. Then I covered everything up and used expandable foam to create a hatch. Now, to go from that hatch to this hella sexy shape, I just grinded and duct taped the out of it until it looked nice and smooth. And with that, it is now ready to fly. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. What? It crashed? Now listen to me, you little piece of confusion. That never happened, okay? This was the first launch. Definitely. Definitely. Then here is a quick montage made with some off-brand GoPro which I just slapped on the nose of the plane. And at the end of this, I finish by crashing into a tree. Enjoy. So I end up turning way too late and hitting a tree. Yep. Peace out.